Ugh, what a night. Today is the first day of 2018 and yesterday uh, I was out pretty late partying for New Year's. So if I sound a little bit groggy today, you'll have to excuse me. But what better way to start the new year than with a new pedal? Today we're looking at this guy. This is the Polytune 3 from TC Electronic. Now TC Electronic is really putting out some quite innovative products. Uh, I'm a big fan of their of their products overall. I own a few of their pedals and um, they're one of the few companies out there that seems to be like really pushing the envelope and uh, trying to integrate a lot of technology in their pedals, uh, but still keeping them simple. Now, of course, a tuner is an important element to any guitarist's rig. There's nothing worse than being out of tune. You can have the best chops in the world, but if you're out of tune, obviously it doesn't sound too impressive. So um, I was looking for something to replace my Polytune. I had the original Polytune pedal, which is very similar in looks to this one, but under the hood, it's quite different. So I wanted to discuss that in more detail with you today and show you exactly how this thing works and why I decided to buy it. So the first thing that is really interesting and cool about this pedal is that it, in, it basically uh, integrates a buffer. The, the longer the lead, the more you have in your signal chain, the more likely you're going to be losing those high, the high end frequencies. And by putting a buffer back into your signal chain, it allows you to recuperate that. And normally you would have to buy that separately, but TC Electronic decided to integrate that directly into the tuner pedal, which I think is an awesome idea. Uh, it saves space on your board. You have one pedal instead of two, and obviously you're saving costs. I mean, the, a good buffer pedal alone will probably cost you anywhere between $100 and $150 or more, and you're getting that built into the tuner. And um, most of the time, I don't leave my house without a tuner when I go and play anywhere. It's always on my board. So it makes perfect sense to have a buffer built into it. The other features of the actual uh, pedal are quite similar to what they had before. There's no big changes there, but there is still a lot happening under the hood. So let's plug it in and let's take a closer look at what it has to offer. Okay, so now that we have the Polytune plugged in, let's go over some of the cool features that it offers. The um, first thing you're going to be seeing is that on the display, you have some activity there. You have some indicator lights jumping around. That's quite normal. Now the guitar is plugged in, the volume's on. So that's why you're seeing activity. I'm going to just turn off the volume for a second while I explain this to you. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in the right mode when you're tuning. So the Polytune will allow you to have a lot of different options available to you. The first thing you want to do is you want to press down the button and hold it down and you'll see that it shows a, a drop D indicator. I went by pretty quick, but I think you saw it. If I hold it, it goes back to STD mode and that's not um, a disease or anything like that. That's just indicating that it's standard mode. So, by clicking and holding, drop D, click and hold again, standard mode. So we want to be in standard mode when we're tuning, but you also want to be in the correct um, option of tuning as well because it offers a few different ones. So let's scroll through those as well. On the top of the unit, you have two buttons that you can press. One's at the upper left and upper right hand side of the pedal. So we're going to click on the button on the upper left hand side once and you'll see that it swi it'll switch from, I call this needle tuning mode and it shows a G for guitar. So you're in guitar tuning mode. If I click it again, you're in chromatic tuning mode for guitar. If I click it once again, you're in bass tuning mode and I call that needle mode. And then if I click it again, you're in bass tuning mode chromatic. So you want to make sure you're in the, the right mode for what you're trying to tune. So let's go back to needle mode guitar and I'll show you how that works. So uh, right now I'm playing a Telecaster and it's probably out of tune. So let's check that out. I'm going to just turn on the volume on the guitar and I'm going to just strum an individual note. As you can see, the E string now is very much off and I'm going to tune that up to pitch. As you can see, 
It reacts very quickly and it indicates that I'm in tune by indicating that you see the needle in the middle position, doesn't flicker, and you have the lights on either side lit up. Now it's pretty accurate in the sense that if you're a slightly off, it will not be 100% on. You'll see a light to the left or to the right of it. So it allows you to see very quickly whether or not you're in tune or not. So let me go up and tune the entire guitar and show you how quickly it actually reacts. So in needle mode, you can actually tune the guitar quite quickly. All right, so I did that pretty fast, but you get the idea. Now, one added advantage of the polytune, of course, this claim to fame, is that it allows you to strum all six strings at the same time to be able to see which string is out of tune. So they recommend that you do this with the pickup selector on the neck position, and they also recommend that you do this with a thumb. So let's try doing that as they recommend, see what happens. All right, so you can see that the indicator now lights up with a, with a series of lights. And if I click the individual string, it shows that the E string is slightly flat. If I s do it in this mode, it also indicates that the E string is slightly fat, f flat. So I'll just tune that up slightly until it's accurate. Now, you don't want to be too sharp. All right. So now the E string is not showing that it's flat anymore. The string right beside it, though, is off. So let's hit that individually and see what's going on there. All right. Now, the reason why it's off is because I'm tuned to G. And that should be an A. So if I'm strumming the entire thing, it says, uh oh, there's something weird here. Check that string. So if I tune to A, the way it's supposed to be, and then I strum again, now you see that that string is fine. Okay? So that's basically how the poly tune will work. Now, there are some people that have claimed that they've have trouble with the sensitivity on the lower strings. Um, if you see that, it's probably uh, specific to a certain guitar. It could be that the guitar pickup is a little bit too, um, too strong um, or too weak. Maybe the height is too close to the strings. There could be a lot of reasons for that to happen. There's no real answer from um, TC Electronics as to what to do beyond just putting the pickup selector in the neck position and using your thumb. Um, but I haven't really experienced too many issues with that. It seems to track quite nicely. Um, the only thing I can say is that I don't see a big advantage to using the, the polytune mode because you do have to strum a few times and you still end up picking the individual string. I mean, it could be handy in certain situations, but I tend to like the individual tuning mode best. It just seems to work better in my, in my opinion. So once you're tuned up, I wanna just fret some strings and I wanna show you how quickly it tracks. So it tracks relatively quick. Now, if the tuning keeps going out, like in my case, it's probably due, due to the fact that the strings are relatively new and haven't been properly stretched, but that's okay. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is the fact that you can actually go and tune in strobe mode, okay? So strobe mode is slightly different. You can hit a string, and now you will see a series of lights that light up and rotate either left or right, and two dots to indicate the center point and to indicate if your guitar is actually in tune. So when your guitar is actually in tune, 
you will see that the lights in the middle are not shifting right or left. They're pretty much stable. And that's how you, in, you know that you're accurate. If it's moving left, that means that you're not dead on yet. It's a little bit more finicky, but it's handy when you're trying to get your guitar uh, intonation set right. It's pretty accurate. It's pretty sensitive. Now, again, I kind of avoid this in live situations because you have to putz around with it a little bit more. And I find that the needle mode is just way quicker and that's what I tend to use most of the time. So beyond these modes, the other advantage that the pedal offers, and we'll sh I'll show you that. I'll go back to needle mode here for a guitar. And if I click the opposite button on the right hand side, you can see that these are the tuning uh, modes that I, I want to be in. So there's, I'm tuning an E here. I can tune E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B. And then I go to F with a one. That's for when you're using a capo with your guitar. So if you're using a capo, you can alternate between the first fret all the way up to the seventh fret and be able to tune with capo that way, which is super handy. And then of course you go back to standard E. Um, another cool feature of this pedal is the fact that you can plug in the, an additional output, which means you can power up another pedal on your board using this pedal. So you have your input here, right beside your input, you have an output with a lead. You can go from this pedal to another pedal on your board and power it up. That's fantastic because if you're like me, your board is full. I have a power supply that, that can power up eight pedals. And sometimes I just want that additional pedal and I can't put it on the board because I don't have any access to power. Well, with this pedal now, I can go up to nine pedals, plus the fact that the Polytune has the bonafide buffer built in, I'm already saving a slot that I would normally have to use for an independent buffer. So it's very, very flexible in terms of a system. And it seems to be I mean, to me, it's the best option out there at the moment. So when the Polytune 3 came out, I immediately sold my old Polytune and bought this one instead because for me, it was a no brainer. I was getting two pedals in one with the buffer, uh, the tuning uh, ability of this pedal is outstanding, uh, good quality. It allows me to power up an additional uh, pedal on my board. So it's saving space on my board by eliminating an independent buffer. Plus I could power up another pedal and put that one in, in its place. Um, the quality is good. The price is right. TC Electronic have been coming out with some very good products over the years and I really do enjoy their pedals immensely. I think that they're, they're putting in a lot of uh, technology in their pedals and they're they're giving you a lot of value for your money and I haven't had issues with any of them so far so you know they have me as a fan and I encourage you to check it out as well if you're in the market for a tuner or a buffer or maybe both that's it for now guys I hope you appreciate this review I wanted not to uh, go on too long but I wanted to show you all the goodness in this pedal and I hope you see the value there. Uh, if you like this video and you appreciate the information, give me a thumbs up. I really enjoy making these videos for you. If you don't like what I'm presenting here, give me a thumbs down. Maybe you can suggest something else that you'd like to see instead. Uh, I'm always more than happy to oblige. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. In the meantime, stay tuned and keep rocking. There'll be more great videos coming your way.